Hi, Ron One here of the Little Weird Shop in Dumbro's World. Just wanted to do a quick video and show you some of these uh, various ferro rod fire starters I've made and just see if anybody has any interest in them because I might do a 20-25 piece run of various ones. Uh, we'll kind of go through a few here. This one is uh, it's got the starter rod right there and it's got this uh, magnesium I think it is where you can sh put off shavings to start a fire. Uh, it's got I believe this was a rosewood handle little leather lanyard here and a got a compass in the top so that's uh, one style. Uh, another one here uh, I got a couple uh, real deer antler ones. This one use my SOG Aegis knife to strike that one. Set my scarf on fire. Uh, this one, real deer antler. Uh, came out really nice. Got a little leather lanyard on it here. And on this one, we've got a little compartment. The rest of them all have a compartment. This has a little compartment, unscrews, and it's got some uh, all-weather matches in there. So you could put uh, a couple matches in there, some pills for your prescriptions if you're out in the hills, uh, stuff like that. So that's a pretty cool one. I love these deer. A lot of these still have the coatings on them. Uh, I love these deer antler ones. So there's that one. Now here is uh, another one with a compartment on it. This is a spalted maple handle. Let's give it the old strike test. Uh, it has a little larger compartment than that last one. has an O-ring on it to seal it and I've got some matches in here, some all-weather matches in here as well. And uh, that one will hold, you know, a little more stuff in there and keep it dry with that O-ring so that's kind of cool. We've got like this uh, suede uh, lanyard on it. Well, there's another one. Really cool handle. And here's the last one. Another deer antler. Real deer antler here. And this is probably my favorite. It's got the, I'm not sure you deer hunter guys with all these nodules on this antler. But boy, talk about getting a good grip. Flock the finger under there. Strike it. Uh, beautiful. Just a beautiful one. Uh, again, this has the large compartment. And on this one, I've got some Strike Anywhere all weather matches. O ring. A little leather lanyard on there. Really nice. So, uh, all of these have about, let's see, this one's got a three and a half inch ferro rod sticking out, four and a quarter, uh, let's call this one four inch. Um, so I don't know, if you guys have any interest that if I make a bunch of these, if anybody would be interested in buying them, let me know. I don't know. Um, kind of like to make some more and probably sell all these except for maybe I don't know this one or this one I think I'm keeping for myself actually one of these I was carrying in my truck bag if you saw my truck bag we'll put a link to that my uh, overnight bag for day hikes and if I get stuck out in my truck it's enough to uh, keep me going over a night so check it out and uh, thanks to my SOG Aegis which was my first knife in my knife collection this was actually my first big knife that I collected. I haven't used this much. Uh, Buck Hoodlum. It's a beast. So uh, I'll have to get some use on that thing. So thanks for joining me. Let me know if you have any interest in anything like this and maybe I'll do another 20-25 piece run. Some various nice woods and a few more deer antler ones. Thanks a lot. Ron One, Little Weird Shop and Dumbro's World. We're gone.